Hi there, I'm John McCann, Phones and Tablets Deputy Editor at Tech Radar, and this is James Peckham, Phones and Tablets Writer at Tech Radar, and we're here to talk to you about BT finally getting back in the mobile game. Yeah. Uh, big news, big, big news. James, you've been talking to BT, what have they got to say? Yeah, so we've got, uh, it's all done by SIM only contracts at the moment. There's three different deals. Uh, the cheapest deal, if you're a BT broadband customer, comes in at five pounds a month. Fantastic. Uh, with that, you get t uh, 500 megabytes of data plus BT Sport access, which is a great deal. Um, and the largest contract for it is 20 gigabyte a month. Uh, that comes in at £20 a month for your BT customer. And if you're not a BT broadband customer, it's going to cost about £5 extra for each deal. But it's a really good deal because you can just throw it in any phone and go from there. Yeah, and it's, it's interesting because they're throwing in that free BT Sports mm. uh, access. So you download the BT Sport app and then you'll be able to get access to their sports channel, which has rugby, it has football, and it has various other... Um, it's a really good deal. ...other sports as well. So obviously you watch that on your mobile. Um, and it, they're really hammering home the, the cheap 4G yeah. sort of message, aren't they? That, that, is that what they're building their sort of offering on? Yeah, well, it's running off of E's network, so you're going to get some amazing coverage considering the price. Uh, it's cheaper than most of E's deals as well, especially if you are a BT Broadband Bank customer. I think it's even cheaper if you're not. So, yeah, the price is really good for 4G. When you think about three years ago, how much 4G used to cost, it's fantastic. Uh, I mean, it's interesting because BT are actually in the middle of potentially yeah. buying E the whole network. So, it's while in it's the Exactly. While it's currently piggybacking off the network, it could, in the near future, own the network. Um, and obviously that that will sort of create a, a super network, as it yeah. were. And we're also seeing that elsewhere. The Freeze owner, Hutchinson, um, has just confirmed the 10 billion pound deal to buy O2 in the UK. Yeah. So that's two networks combining there to make a, a super power as well, which, you know, maybe makes Vodafone. It's going to limit the market, really. You're going yeah. to have a few choices to go with. For so. sure. I mean, it, it, is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Where do you see it going? Uh, it could be a bad thing if it becomes if there's only a few more companies that may mean that the competition isn't as tough, so the prices may go up a little bit more. Mm. But I I think it's quite a good thing, really. It's building super networks where they can all combine their coverage. So I think at the moment it's looking good. It'd be interesting to see though if they can continue their low prices, though, mm. especially when they if the market shrinks. If three and O two obviously combine, that takes yeah. us from four big players to three big players mm. um, and thus they could potentially boost their prices up more because there's fewer people in the market. Definitely. So, I mean, it, it's definitely worth bearing in mind though that both these deals are in the finalisation stages so neither neither is co even confirmed yet. It may be 2016 before we see either of the deals actually come through. Uh, be sure to let us know what you think. Uh, be sure to subscribe as well and we'll see you later.